we have discussed about universal active filter which can be used for a variety of second order filter uh, formulation. Now we are going to convert it into voltage control filter so that the frequency omega naught becomes proportional to a voltage and then uh, use this filter to be uh, automatically tuned to an incoming frequency. This is called self-tuned filter design. Now how it is done can be explained by understanding first how it is converted into voltage control filter and how the multiplier uh, facilitates this feature and the same multiplier also can be used as a phase detector to tune it properly. Now what is a multiplier? Multiplier is the next important building block after the op -amp. It can be used for a variety of communication applications like multiplier actually gives you an output which is product of the two inputs Vx and Vy okay, and a reference voltage Vr. A standard multiplier has Vr as 10 volts okay, and actual multiplier okay, has certain non-idealities. It is a part which is independent of the two inputs that is called offset voltage and then a part which is proportional to one of the inputs that is called a feed through component due to X and feed through component due to Y. Then the wanted output, okay, K0 into Vx by Vy where K0 is 1 over Vr. Normally the uh, extent of dynamic range of the multiplier or precision multiplier is designed to handle as much as the reference voltage, 10 volts in this case, plus 10 volts and minus 10 volts. So this is a four quadrant multiplier, okay, which is capable of handling a dynamic range of plus minus 10 volts. Now, how do we use this? First, as a voltage control filter uh, for converting a filter into voltage control. The integrator of the previous section, which was having a current of Vi by R, going through the capacitor and producing a voltage Vi by R into SC with a negative sign here. That current is changed. Okay based on the multiplier output. So this Vi is applied here and this is the control voltage. Now this voltage becomes Vi, Vc by Vr according to what we have written there and therefore the current in this which was Vi by R changes to Vi Vc by R into Vr. So we can replace in our previous design omega naught of the filter which uses the integrator okay will have the omega naught change to from 1 over rc it changes to vc by vr so that means the uh, omega naught becomes directly proportional to the control voltage q remains as such that means both integrators have their time constant controlled by vc and therefore the uh, omega naught is voltage dependent that's how we get a voltage control filter. So let us say we have this voltage control filter block which is getting an input frequency. Our purpose is now this is let's say VP sin omega RT. It's a reference frequency that we are having as the input. We want our filter which has a control voltage to be tuned exactly to this incoming frequency. Now we are comparing the incoming frequency and the output frequency using this multiplier as the phase detector. Right? So what happens here if this is Vp dash sin omega rt plus phi because we have seen that both the magnitude and the phase change as it comes out of the filter, let us say we have taken the low pass filter output which we have studied and the low pass filter gets subjected to a phase shift starting from 0 up to pi and its phase shift is exactly equal to pi by 2 at a frequency omega naught equal to omega r which is the same as the incoming frequency. So we know that it is exactly tuned to 
the incoming frequency omega r if this phase shift okay phi gets adjusted to pi by 2 and how do we get the information we know that this output is nothing but vp vp dash sin omega rt sin omega rt plus phi divided by dr so if you now expand this this is equal to vp vp dash by 2 vr okay into cos phi minus cos 2 omega By putting a low pass filter after this, we can get rid of this 2 omega component and get an average which is nothing but proportional to cos phi. And if phi is pi by 2, this average is going to be 0. So the moment we measure 0 average, we know that the filter is having its omega naught exactly tuned to omega r which is the incoming frequency. So if therefore we compare it with zero reference and put a comparator and then connect it back and if this is a negative feedback system this automatically adjusts the control voltage okay such that this voltage is same as this voltage which is zero. That means every time some input is coming, this gets adjusted to zero, which means all the time, okay, it is getting tuned to the incoming frequency. This is called a self-tuned filter. So if you now apply a square wave here and take the output of the bandpass filter, automatically it gets tuned to its fundamental, which gives you a sort of gain of H naught into Q as the gain from the input that means it's only selecting the fundamental if the amplitude of the square wave is a okay fundamental component is 4a by pi and that into h naught q is all the time the output of the bandpass filter irrespective of the incoming frequency so this becomes a, a spectrum analyzer right if you make it get locked to the uh, third harmonic you will get the third harmonic amplitude of this square wave. So it can be really used as a spectrum analyzer or as a distortion analyzer where uh, it uh, if you select the output of the notch filter you will get the percentage amount of distortion present in this periodic waveform having a fundamental frequency which corresponds to omega naught. So this particular block now is uh, voltage control filter which is getting automatically tuned to the incoming frequency. Let us try to analyze this as a negative feedback system. So we need here, this particular input is nothing but the quiescent, okay. It has nothing to do with input output relationship of this. This block is called a voltage control filter, output is here phase and input is a control voltage. So what we interest is the sensitivity delta phi by delta Vc, which is called KVCP. This is radians per volts. The dimension of this is radians per volt. So voltage is getting converted to phase. Then phase is converted again back to voltage. Right? So this particular block, which is nothing but the phase detector, has a sensitivity V delta V average by delta phi is input which is K phase uh, detector. This volts per radians right? and this particular block amplifier block okay, has delta Vc divided by delta V average which is nothing but A0. So the loop gain of this system is going to be nothing but okay, uh, the delta V average by delta this thing is going to be sine phi okay, and therefore uh, is going to be nothing but KVCP KPD into 
this whole thing has to be negative okay for negative feedback okay and then it should be much greater than one like in any feedback systems okay then whatever this is called a phase follower this is truly the phase lock loop because here the frequency remains constant right this is getting this is meant to get locked to pi by 2 all the time if you apply a v average which is different so that v average is let's say cos 60 then it will get locked to cos 60 okay we said that v average is cos 60 that means phase is 60 degrees right we had chosen 90 only because sensitivity is maximum there okay so this can be made to get locked to any phase and that is why this is called a true phase lock loop okay where frequency doesn't change and that's its application is in self-tuning of filters and that has become very important in the present day electronics that most of the uh, control loop function can be done by a digital control okay and actual filter can be the analog filter okay and therefore we can precisely adjust the frequency to whatever value we want and later on use the system so this important tuning scheme where uh, in most of the integrated circuits the rnc values themselves are not very accurately known okay that can be a tolerance level of of the order of uh, 60 percent variation from the nominal value so it is bound to be very helpful in precisely making the uh, filter get tuned exactly to the frequency that we want. So precision tuning is possible in uh, IC filters only by this technique of introducing a control loop or tune. So this has now become very, very important as far as uh, application is concerned in tuning of filters. So suppose we give as the input to the self-tuned filter a square wave of amplitude A now and the frequency can be anything right? that is A T C F R. it automatically gets tuned to F R. what does it mean at the output of the bandpass filter we get the sine wave which is at the input it is 4A by pi if A is the square wave right? 4A by pi that means more than the amplitude of the square wave by this factor 4 by pi and that into h naught into q is the output that is appears at the bandpass filter and at the uh, notch filter we get this exactly subtracted from the input okay and so it is going to be H naught into A at the output with waveform which can be easily analyzed. It's nothing but the square wave minus the sine wave fundamental. So you can get this hatched portion okay, as the output. You can see the dominance of the third harmonic here okay and it is nothing but the square wave minus the fundamental times h naught okay and this is very nice to observe if it is exactly tuned to the uh, incoming frequency then this peak and this peak will be exactly equal if you just deviate from this side or that side because of the sudden change in phase right either this will go up and this will come down or this will go up and this this you can observe in the experiment right only when it is exactly tuned these two peaks will be exactly at the same point okay so please observe this waveform at the output and enjoy this experiment